Hi everyone, welcome to Things Lucy Reads. I'm Luce and this is a non-readathon April wrap-up. Okay, so the first three books I read that weren't for a readathon were actually part of a series and it's a limited comic series called Delva. It's by C. Spike Trotman, M.K. Reed and Clive Hawkes. So it's set in this village called Odd Goat and this village kind of is situated over the top of a magical dungeon and the magic kind of seeps up through the soil and sometimes they get mutated goats, hence the name of the village. There's one with two heads, there's one born a little later on once the magic starts to get more and more potent that has uh, one head but three faces and it talks. That was kind of creepy. Every character in this is a character of colour apart from a few of the, the Delvers, the people that come to look at this dungeon. So there's this village and it's just plodding along, living its own life, dealing with the magic as it comes up until all of a sudden the entrance to the dungeon appears and these two Delvers come through having come from the other side and because there is now another door a bunch more Delvers come to investigate the dungeon and see what they can pull out of it, what kind of treasure, what they can find in it, that kind of thing. So for a little while everything is really prosperous, the locals start up food stalls and things like that, they offer accommodation and then they earn a lot of money, but after a while the flow of people starts to diminish and this village had never really relied on money for currency before, so having a lot of money isn't really going to do anything when there's no crops growing, for example. So the main character of the series, once no one, once people stop coming to her food stall, eventually teams up with this one other wannabe Delva, and they go into the dungeon themselves. Um, it's a five issue series, only three are out so far and those are the three that I've read. It's really really good, I read it because it seemed like it would be kind of like D&D and I stand by that. If you have uh, Kindle Unlimited or Comixology Unlimited, it will be free to read for you. And I will put links to it in the description below because it is just honestly so fantastic. The next book that I read that wasn't for the Asian Readathon is Catching Taylor Crow by Amberlynn and Ezekiel Koimolana. This is about to be published in the US and Canada as The Things She's Seen. It's about this girl called Beth and she was killed in a car accident and she's kind of still present as a ghost but the only one who can see her is her father and she's trying to help him move on through his grief. Um, her father is a police detective and he has to go to this small town to um, investigate this fire slash killing that has happened and they don't know if the killing is a murder or if it was just a byproduct of the fire. Some of the people affected by the fire were indigenous and then most of the people in power in the town are white so that's going on so you've got this thing to play between indigenous australians and the white australians and um people who hold the majority of the power which are the white australians and how they relate to the indigenous australians in the town and not only have you got that interplay happening but you've got the living world and the spirit world as well. It was just really really fantastic. It packed such a punch for such a short book. I've been thinking about it ever since I stopped reading it and I'm already really keen to read it again one day. I partially read it read it as an ebook and I partially listened to it as an audiobook. I borrowed both of those from my library. And then the next book that I read is this little Poems from the Lord of the Rings by J.R. Tolkien illustrated by Alan Lee. I had to read this because I was going through my like book haul log and I accidentally marked it off as if I'd read it because I thought I had and then I realized I hadn't so then I had to read it so that everything would be correct again. It's just a selection of poems from certain books that he has written accompanied by illustrations by Alan Lee. I did enjoy this one and it got five stars from me. The next book that I read was a short story from Fireside magazine. It's called The Secret Lives of the Nine Negro Teeth of George Washington. It's by Fenderson Jelly Clark, who also publishes books under the name P. Jelly Clark. And this was just a really short story about George Washington's false teeth, which all happen to come from black slaves. Each of the teeth, when George Washington wears them, affect him in a different way. So I can't remember any of the ones specifically, but what happens with the teeth is kind of like if there was someone killed on their way to the train and a tooth from them was used as a false tooth every time it was worn that person would be late for their train that kind of thing it was really really short but really really good it had a heavy dose of uh magic as well as the comments on like the inequality of the time and it was yeah it was really good i gave it five stars and i will link that down below if you want to read that as well 
that's all I have for you for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have read any of these books, feel free to leave me a comment and let me know what you thought. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.